Okay, uh, so I've extracted the last five years of the simulation, the period 2008 through 2012, the average for that five-year period, and I'm now going to read it into the data browser where it's available to plot. Then as a baseline, I am going to uh, take the first five years, the average over the first five years of the simulation, read that into the data browser. Um, and uh, you can see that I've got each of these five variables now, ocean mixed layer temperature, precipitation, snow cover, soil moisture, and surface air temperature, all annual averages for each of these two five-year periods. And what I'm going to do next is to take the difference. Uh, let me select surface air temperature. We're going to uh, take the difference between uh, the last five years and the first five years of the simulation, and that'll give us the spatial pattern of the trend in temperature over the globe. So I want data 1 minus data 2. It's going to plot that out for me. Um, unfortunately, it uses a nonsensical color scale, so I am going to uh, change the color scale so that it is more meaningful. Um, Okay, so that the warm colors all indicate warming, um, the cold colors would indicate cooling. Of course, uh, the entire globe is warming in this simulation. Uh, warming more at high latitudes, particularly in the northern hemisphere, where, as we uh, know, sea ice is decreasing markedly. And so that ice albedo feedback is kicking in, giving us that additional uh, warming at high latitudes in the northern hemisphere. Um, and there's some interesting structure in the southern hemisphere as well. Um, perhaps a little bit more warming over the land regions than over most of the ocean regions, um, although uh, the uh, variations are fairly small. So that's uh, the projected surface air temperature pattern. Of course, as I've said before, uh, this is a fairly primitive uh, climate model uh, by modern standards and a lot of the more interesting variations in ocean circulation and atmospheric circulation uh, that give us more complicated patterns of surface temperature changes in the projections of current state-of-the-art climate models are not really resolved in this relatively uh, primitive model. Uh, but that's what the surface uh, pattern of warming looks like. Um, and uh, we can now look at the patterns of some other variables.